What is going on everybody? Welcome to part four of the Go tutorial series. In this part, what we're gonna be talking about is pointers, which is pretty much the last element that's gonna be necessary for you to understand the basic kind of Go web server example. Uh, so also, if you're like coming from something like Python, this is totally foreign to you. So, so it's probably a good idea we cover it. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is kind of clean up what we've got going on here. So first of all, we're just gonna be using format, so I'll get rid of the parentheses there. Uh, we'll clean up these two functions and then we'll just empty out main because we don't need anything there. All right, so uh, let's say we had a variable and we're gonna say it's x colon equals and we'll say that it, x is equal to 15. What type is 15? <laughs> you should know. Now, uh, now what we can say is a colon equals and that's going to point to x. So the way that we point to something is with the ampersand and then the variable we want to point to. So this is going to wind up being the memory address. Let's write that out. And then now let's go ahead and format dot print line a, just so we can see what we're doing. So let me bring up a term or a command line and go run go tut dot go. Boom. So that's the actual memory address where the value for x is, is being stored. So <clears throat> now what we can do is like, what if we, um, so, so basically, you, if you want to point to something, you use the ampersand. But if you want to read through a memory address, you use the asterisk or star. So, um, so what we could say is format.println asterisk a, save that, run that. And you see, in this case, you, you get 15. Because that's, that's currently what the value of x is. Now, what if we said asterisk a equals five. Um, what, what do you think will, will wind up happening there? So let's go ahead and save that, uh, run that. Whoops, we didn't uh, print anything out. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and print x now. So uh, format.print line x. So now x is actually equal to five because it's changed. So, <laughs> So now, like just just for 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 fun, <laughs> uh, a uh, the reading through of that memory address of x. So the reading through of whatever's at a equals whatever's through at a times whatever's through at a. That looks fun. <laughs> so what's going to be the output there, right? You should be able to to, to visually look at this and, and and know what's what it's going to say. But uh, oh, we still need to print it out, huh? Uh, let's print, um, let's do format dot print line, uh, X. Oh, oh, what happened? A, there we go. Format dot print line X. And then also let's, let's print out asterisk A. And that's probably all we really need to do. So we'll save that. We'll run that. And as you can, you probably could have guessed it was going to be five times five. Um, but anyways, pretty cool. It's, it's super simple once you get used to it, but it, as a foreign concept, it gets kind of challenging. Just know that anytime you've got ampersand, that's the memory address that's leading to whatever variable you pass. And then if you want to read what's at that variable, uh, or what's at that memory address rather, you're gonna use the asterisk. All right, so that's all for pointers. And in the next tutorial, we'll actually start with our, our super basic web server example. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever, you can feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial.